Hi, my name is Mark Daly. I'm a lawyer with Immigration and Naturalization Attorneys. And one of the questions that comes up a lot, a frequently asked question, is how do I prove a good faith marriage? When you're getting a permanent residency green card based on a marriage, it's required that the, the applicant prove a good faith marriage. Because the way it works is that immigration, USCIS, they have an expectation that your marriage is no good. Okay? So the burden of proof, they call it the burden of proof, is for you to prove step by step, fact by fact, that your marriage is a good faith marriage. And when you give them enough evidence of the good faith marriage, they'll go, okay, we believe you now. But you start off like this. You start off with a bad marriage. So it's up to you to prove a good faith marriage. So you may believe you have a good marriage. You may love your spouse, but if you don't have any proof of that, you'll get denied. So that's very important. So it's a good question. Um, <clears throat> I've got a list of things here that I found through my experience work very well to uh, prove a good faith marriage. Uh, the first one are children. Children go a long way to proving a good faith marriage for obvious reasons. And my, my clients, I like them to bring their children to the interview because they can actually see you interact with your children. And it can, uh, I had this one little child who was in the interview and the interviewer was getting some heat going. He was asking for tax returns and all that. And the little kid looking at the, you're a bad man! And the parents were like cracking up. And it worked, it worked out great. I mean, the kid was defending his parents with a little family unit. So bring the babies to the interview for sure. It's a great way to present your case. Um, the next thing are tax returns. You know, when you file a tax, a joint tax return with a spouse, it says a lot about your relationship, that you're sharing money, that you have liabilities together, um, and then that's also going to maybe, you know, give you a benefit also in their taxes to filing. But um, more importantly, though, they feel that when people file their taxes together, there's some kind of financial um, interdependence, some sort of financial uh, co-relationship there. So that's very important to do. They look for that. Another thing is insurance policies. You know, if I have a life insurance policy that says when I die, all my stuff goes to my spouse, that is a very important legal document. That says a lot. Um, so I would recommend also having an insurance policy on each other that shows that health insurance is another really important type of insurance, as is auto insurance. Also, you know, your name is going to appear on all these documents when you open up an insurance policy. So a lot of it is paper documentation because when you go and you file these forms and you go to the interview and you show up with your, with your paper documentation, these papers are actually going into your file. They're going into your immigration file. So when you bring a copy of your insurance rider that shows all your cars and, and um, or shows your life insurance policy with your spouse as your beneficiary. That piece of paper you want to make sure that gets in the file. Because sometimes the interviewers will just look at it and hand it back and you want to say, no, 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 this is a copy for you. Put it in my file. That way it'll stay all the way with you. So when you get your citizenship, they're going to review your marriage all over again and they'll look and they'll go, oh wow, look at all this stuff. That must have been a good marriage. So very important. Bank accounts, shared bank accounts are obviously important because this means you're sharing money. And if you're sharing money, it must be love, right? Love, love and money go hand in hand. So, and I know, look, I know, people who've been divorced, older people, the last thing they want to do is share money, right? I've been down that road, they say. I, you know, I do not want to share my money with my spouse. You might even have a prenuptial agreement saying that your, you know, your assets are going to be separate. However, the Immigration Service looks this suspiciously. They say, well, look, what kind of relationship is it if you're not even going to have some kind of bank account? Uh, or some sort of credit card that you trust each other with. It's a sign of trust, it's a sign of uh, financial interdependence. So I would really encourage you to get bank accounts together. Um, now the, the problem with bank accounts is a lot of time the alien, the non-citizen, right, doesn't have a driver's license, doesn't have any type of ID, a social security number that the bank's going to require to get a bank account. So this could be a problem. You might need to shop around and find a bank that's actually going to do that for you. Photos together. A picture is worth a thousand words. It is so true. Now here's the way I like to do photos. 
the digital cameras are everywhere now, so we are in the digital film domain. The best way to do it is when you're printing out your pictures, you print them out on your, on your own printer or go to a drugstore where they might have one of those camera kiosks. And you want to use thumbnails. You want to use 2x2, two 2x3 by two, two by thumbnails and put several of them on a page and print that page out. Do it chronologically. Do it from the oldest photos to the most recent photos. And then in a pen right underneath the date and maybe the event, what was going on. Seven or eight pages of those an 8.5 by 11 photo paper is going to look so good in your file. And if you go with a photo album, like the wedding album, the examiner is going to look at it and go, oh, okay, got it. But if you show up with 8.5 by 11 pages of thumbnail photos, all arranged chronologically, again, that's going to go into your file. And so that's going to be part of your record. Remember the evidence to go and prove? If you go with a photo album, that's not going to actually go into your record. Yeah, they'll look at it and they'll consider it, but what we want is for your record to reflect that, yes, you did have you know, enough evidence to show a good faith marriage. So that's how I like to do the photos.